What's going on YouTube? Uh, I got another AR-15 update video for you guys today. And right here you can see we've added the forward assist button. And we've also added the dust cover. Pull that back. There you can see the Sharps Rifle Company bolt carrier group with the Reliabolt. And what else have we added? Well, this is actually going to be probably the final update because as you can see we've uh, got the handguard we got a barrel in there move up to the front and got a muzzle brake oh yeah not the last not the last video because um, I'm definitely gonna throw uh, some form of optics on there bring this in shorten it, shorten it up a little bit so what do we got <clears throat> what did I go with um, Kind of some things that I talked about in the past video. Like I said, you can see she's a little dirty. A little dirty. I've shot it. This gun here is clean. Or clear, I should say. Nothing in there. Safety check. Everyone's happy. No mags. Um, actually, I don't even have mags in this room right now. Um, so, uh, what do we go with? Well, as I said there... Right there, Noveski. That was a uh, 16 inch stainless steel recon, chambered in 5.56, improved polygonal rifling, the uh, extended feet, M4 feed ramps, um, the uh, Noveski Mod Zero match uh, chamber. That's the barrel we got in there. Covering that barrel. Let me let me actually pull this let me pull this card out just because it's in a plastic bag. A lot of you probably a lot of you guys might know just by by taking a look at it. I thought about the Noveski uh, is it NSR and the BCM KMR. Uh, I did kind of want to go with the key mod system, but right here is what we went with. This is a SLR Rifle Works. Um, Handrail. I'll zoom up on that. You guys can probably scan that thing. I'll take you right to their website. I don't know. I've never scanned it. Don't know what it does. Uh, yeah, there you go. There's their phone number. Website slrrifleworks.com. Uh, great company. Uh, very high quality. Really nicely made. There you can see SL SLR Rifle Works. So it goes on, comes with a proprietary barrel nut, these uh, tabs here, this is what keeps it in, they lock into that barrel nut, keep it from rotating. Nice fit and finish here at the top on the Picatinny rail, everything lines up pretty nice. <clears throat> kind of roll down here, nice cutting. Now this is their uh, uh, Ultra Light, 15 inch. As you can see, it's got the key mod on the three o'clock, the six o'clock, and nine o'clock positions, and does not have the pick, the Picatinny rail across the top, helps cut down on weight, feels good in the hand, has a short Picatinny rail section up here in the front, flip that up, kind of give you a little bit better idea on the length of it, uh, that's a Magpul Embus Gen 2 sight right up to the front, um, <clears throat> feels great, great in the hand. I don't, I don't have the specs right here for you guys, but um, your hand, completely around it if you like to have your thumb over bore. Um, the, up here along the ventilation and stuff, if you're holding it, I mean, you got a nice grip if you like to have your thumb forward, uh, whatever. Nice, real nice. So, uh, mags, we went with, uh, I went with 30 round hex mag. Uh, those seem to uh, haven't had any problems. Then again, I haven't put a ton of ammo through. I think uh, 100 rounds, I'll say. Maybe a little more. Uh, muzzle brake. I was going to go with like a uh, Lantac Dragon. And uh, I started kind of getting on the, on the wagon of I'm not sure if I want to do a Lantac uh, Dragon. Because I kind of wanted uh, something that would either... Um, kind of had the the blast shield, if you will. I know there's a lot of different names to kind of keep the the sound going forward. If I was going to do some 
uh, shooting, you know, around friends or any classes or anything like that, anything like that, muzzle brakes that, you know, dump out the side. They kind of get loud, obnoxious, and annoying, especially to shoot next to. So I was going to get something that I could adapt to. Uh, Landtac hasn't really released anything with theirs. Um, I was really looking at the Surefire, the 5.56, five, uh, what is it, War, War Comp, I think. It's kind of like a comp flash hider. It's supposed to be one of the better combos that you can get. And then they were going to have a uh, an adapter that would you know go over the top of that, like a uh, uh, called the Warden. Uh, I haven't heard nothing on that yet either. So I decided, without spending a bunch of money, going doing anything crazy judging by the reviews i've seen online i went with a pardon me because i'm gonna butcher his name it's a jerry michelek uh muzzle brake get those at uh midway usa for about 37 bucks i think so comp love it works well stupid loud it's kind of annoying how loud it is things i don't like um it's not threaded deep at all like right here you kind of see this taper this radius and it hits this flat spot like that's all the deeper the threads are so i mean they give you this timing nut that you put on here that's flat on two sides which kind of looks with the flat sides looks a little out of place with the with the round barrel that's it bothers me and then look at that you got that gap there that's ugly i don't like it don't like it at all but you know what it's effective it's working right now um, I can't you know it does keep the muzzle pretty flat you can see here when you look at the top these back ports come they come up higher here at the top that helps direct more of the gas upward to keep your muzzle flat then obviously it's still gonna come out the side on all three all three of them there and uh, that's what's gonna help reduce your recoil and it does I mean yeah, two, two, three, five, five, six. You're, you, you don't have a lot of recoil to begin with, but this does minimize what recoil there is. Um, yeah. So, like I said, probably about 100 rounds through it. Iron sights. I, you know, I'm shooting um, just five, five, six, American Eagle, 55 grain ball ammo, XM 193, and I haven't. I mean, I've got the iron sights, you know, pretty, you know, close for iron sights at about 100, 125 yards. And they're inside, you know, 5, 8, 10 shots. They're all inside of a, you know, 5-inch circle. Not claiming that's good. Not saying that's in a testament to, oh, this barrel, this barrel, you know, this Noveska barrel super accurate. It's, I, you know, I know it's going to be accurate. That's cheap ammo. I got it at Cabela's. I think it was on sale for uh 749 i missed out on a deal on some uh 556 through uh gander mountain they had that on sale for 699 for a box i'm going to look at buying some bulk online here at some point so i mean it's not you know i'm not shooting match grade ammo it's with iron sights whatever and you know i'm going to give myself an excuse and tell you it was hotter than shit the day that i shot and i could fill a glass with my shirt after i you know i was ringing it out and sweating your eyes the whole nine yards but uh, that's neither here nor there function wise beautiful uh, super super smooth low recoil a nice balance you know these SLR uh, rifle work handguards are super light um, especially the ultra light like what I have where there's you know just the no picatinny on it pretty much it's all set up for for key mod accessories and you can obviously key mod in some pick picatinny sections if you want them uh, things like that um, this you know this uh, this rifle is kind of built to be a uh, short or you know I'd say a short to short to long range or short to mid-range engagement rifle. I mean, it's not going to be, uh, I mean, is it capable of, you know, 600-yard shots? Yeah, absolutely. Am I going to put optics on there for 600-yard shooting? No, I'm not. Uh, it's going to be, I mean, it's pretty much going to be a um, 50 to 300, you know, 400. And, yeah, I mean, everyone's going to shoot. Everyone's going to, you know, take a rifle. You can have a 1x4 on there. Everyone's going to take a rifle and shoot. 
you know, five, six hundred yards if you've got the opportunity the in the location to do it. Yeah, um, I'm fortunate that I, I've I've got the location where I could do something like that. So yeah, I'm going to put something on there um, that's probably going to be like a, you know, a two to nine or two and a half to ten, something like that, um, some form of optics and that range um, and go from there. The overall quality of like the Nevesky barrel, top notch, fantastic. I, I like it. There uh, comes with their gas block. Uh, comes with a gas tube their gas blocks are pinned and then they also have a set screw in the bottom to keep them locked in that's awesome so you kind of got a double security there um, obviously gas tube comes with a roll pin um, stainless steel barrel all the machine you know no machining marks everything looked real smooth the threads were nice and nice and smooth the feed ramps looked good looked down the barrel before I installed it you know I didn't see any debris or any I mean, there's nothing the uh, at all. I mean, the thing was like mint, which it should be for the price. You're paying a very high premium for the, uh, the Noveski name. So or, I don't want to say even the the Noveski name. Their products in general. You're, I mean, you're paying you're paying a good price uh, for the reputation that they have for producing high quality um, parts, and they are they're high quality parts. So um, you know, it, can you? it's you know if you can afford it and you want to do it go for it um you're not going to be disappointed the barrel came <clears throat> uh wrapped in bubble wrap and then it kind of had a full a full plastic uh full plastic uh i don't know looks like a like a fishing net you know that was over it and the uh, chamber side came with a like a plastic cap over to the threaded side end of the barrel came with another plastic cap. I mean, the thing, you know, the box was full of bubble wrap. The barrel was wrapped in bubble wrap. You know, if they went, they go above and beyond to make sure that um, your products are, you know, when you get them, they're they're secure, they're safe. So, <clears throat> um, on the whole ordering process um, for for the let's see here for the barrel. And the handguard, I went through these guys here, Rainier Arms, zoom in. Everyone, probably most people are uh, familiar with them. They're out there in Auburn, Washington, right there, close up, phone number, fax, email, Rainier Arms, RainierArms.com. Okay, great. Put their card right here. Um, so, here's what happened. Monday, uh, I waited till Monday. Placed my order. Got an order confirmation saying that my order was placed. Gave them a gave them a call the next day, and I asked them. I said, "Hey, you know, we haven't uh, I haven't really seen anything, any progress on my shipping for my my barrel, my handguard that I ordered." Um, and I would, you know, they said, "Okay, well, you know, Mondays they, we come in from the weekend. We're really swamped. You know, we're sorry. We're going to get it out to you." awesome it was no more no more than an hour later boom seen a seen an email saying that the label um was created for my you know the shipping thing and i never seen any progress goes on to wednesday wake up wednesday morning no progress all it says label created and i at this point i got mad i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie um i i did get upset and i you know they say that their orders ship out in 24 hours and i was thoroughly disappointed uh, gave them a call Wednesday. Um, they're out on the West Coast. I'm in the Midwest, so there's a couple hour, couple hour difference. Gave them a call, and when they opened, and I talked with, I want to say, uh, I, I don't recall the guy's name. I'm sorry. Um, I talked with him, told him, you know, what what was going on. I haven't seen any progress on the shipping of my product, and he said, well, give me a second. Let me check. Let me check what uh, what's going on, and I'll let you know. Put me on hold, and he actually uh, came back on the phone, and he said, "Well, he goes honestly. He says I don't know. I can't figure out what happened to your package. I don't know. I don't know where it's at." He says, "But here's what here's what I'm going to do." And I kind of told him like, "Hey, I was kind of planning on having this here by Friday. I got some other stuff coming. I kind of wanted to have it together so I could shoot it." And he uh, he understood, so he gave me 
uh, free two-day shipping. He could not find my original, he seen my original order, could not find it in their shop, knew that he generated a label for it, could not find it, made the assumption that it went out. He packaged up another barrel, a Noveski 16-inch recon stainless steel barrel, and another uh, SLR um, ultralight handguard 15-inch, and put two-day shipping on it and sent it to me. And he said that he'd take care of it. I'd have it by Friday. Sure enough, Friday I had it. And, um, you know, Thursday I had the muzzle brake magazine, stuff like that come in. Uh, a couple of the upper parts things. So, they also throw in a... Let's see here. They also throw in throw a little rainy arms patch. That's, not that that's a huge, obviously, huge selling point, but... Let's open that up. Let's just take a look at it quick. There you go. Kind of got a, you know, rubber, rubber vinyl texture to it. There's your Velcro on the back. Yeah. That